one of our good friends and a man that has won a lot of basketball games. And a man that didn't coach. take our advice on what Twitter handle views. At Shooter McJudkins. At Shooter McJudkins? Yeah. It's okay. At Coach Judkins. We can still call him that. Yeah. Jeff Judkins is with us, Coach. What's up, Jeff? Welcome back to Las Vegas. Nice to be here. Yeah, it is. In fact, you just wrapped up <laughs> practice. How was it today? Well, it was too fast, an hour. And, but, you know, the main part was just to get out here and shoot and move around and get used to the arena. Now you can focus on important things, like the picture that President Coach Steve Cleveland brought to us from your <laughs> days at the University of Utah. Look at that handsome young oh, man. man. I Listen, I don't have a lot of youths that I think look good. That, you're that does you're look one good, of them. Yeah. Look, look how, you look good. Look how long my hair was. Holy cow. You've got Stephen Bayo hair, but longer. I know. It was you, real popular back then, you know. I don't know. I, you know, now I, now it's a shortcut, you know. And, but that was that was a lot of fun. I remember those days. The kids would call that sick flow today. That, well, yeah, you couldn't probably <laughs> – you, you couldn't take a test. At the Heber J. Grant Testing Center. I don't think <laughs> that with that those luscious locks. I yeah. probably couldn't. <laughs> you probably I'm gonna kill that. Coach Cleaver that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I got some on him, I'm gonna pull him in. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> let, let the let it begin. Yeah, it'll this begin. is what we do. This okay, so do. you like the men, you're coming off a win against Gonzaga. That was a big win Saturday. It what's, was. what's the momentum uh and the feeling like right now with this team as you come down here? Well, I, I, you know, I think this team has been playing pretty well the last month. We really only lost to St. Mary's, and uh, we were in that game. So I, I think we're playing our best basketball right now. Um, I've been fortunate. I kind of try to schedule it. My assistant coach has helped me a lot with, with practice times and try to make it where our team's playing the best at the end of the year. That means you got to give time off. It means you don't work because maybe it's hard in practice. You can continue to do different things, and we've been pretty fortunate over the years to be ready to play now. Is it because there's good coaching? I think coaching helps. I think I've been here enough. I mean, I think I've been in this tournament, what, 28 years I've been in the tournament. I've I've learned under some really great coaches, Rick Majerus and Coach Cleveland. Um, and then, yeah, I've kind of had my own philosophies when I was a player. What, what would I want to do? How do I want to do it? And so, you know... The hard part of basketball is you're, you're as good as your last game. So you're you pretty know? good. So when you play good, you're, you're great. You're feeling really good. The next game, you could stink. And that's, that's what basketball, and that's why we have these tournaments. Everybody's so excited. Somebody's going to beat somebody and knock somebody off, and that's what happens. You've had great success specifically at this tournament. You've won it a couple of times. You won the West Coast Conference regular season championship last year. What is it about this tournament that you've been able to – kind of navigate through to to some championships because it's hard to play this many games in a condensed amount of time. Yeah, I think the, the biggest thing is we, we've prepared for it before this happens. We play preseason games. We'll play back-to-back -back games in like in Hawaii or we'll go to Mexico this year and play back-to-back -back so my team can get ready for this. We also try to, to maybe have a day off where we do nothing like on Sunday, we if we're fortunate enough to win tomorrow, we will not practice. We won't do anything on Sunday. And so then Monday's the game. So you have to kind of prepare for that. And then I think experience. I have some, some players that have been here. We've been in this position before. And they can kind of balance themselves out and really, you know, do it. It's, it's hard. It's not uh, – I remember the first year I was with Coach Cleveland when we got the NCAA tournament. He was really working – team hard and I said coach you got to back off as much as you want to try to get everything in you got to back off because it's it's tournament now you know you just it's, it's not it's not October practice so that's why today one hour we went one hour today I've learned my players are better with fresh legs and tired legs so um we'll we'll tonight go through what we're going to need to do the hard part we have we don't know what we're playing right and so now we've got to hurry and rush into this and that's why I've got Dan Nielsen, who's been with me for many, many years, who knows exactly what we need to do, and he's prepared, and when it comes, he'll just go after it. So do you wait to really – I mean, you have a game plan, I, I'm sure, for both San Diego and Portland, but to install that game plan, do you wait until you know yes. who you play? Yes. Because you don't want to mix up too much yeah, in their mind, right? I mean, we've done a few things like – this is what San Diego did to us. This is what Portland did to you us. You played them twice play. each. You remember? Yeah. So we've kind of went through that the last couple of days, but really focusing on what we're doing. No, it's you've kind of tonight's going to be a big night. After this game, we're going to go out and eat as a team. We're going to come back and we're going to 
go through our game plan. The format of the women's tournament and the bracket here in Las Vegas is interesting because today, and all the games will be on BYU TV, there are two opening round games that are essentially play into the quarterfinal games, and then there are two quarterfinal games. So if you're in the 4-5 game or the 3-6 game on the women's side, you play Thursday, you win, you don't have to play until Monday, whereas the top two seeds play on Friday and then get only two days off. Does that really affect things for you? Or how do you view that bracket? Well, I, I th in the women's tournament in the last two years, the number one and number two seeds never won it. So what does that tell you? It's, you know, we won it as a fifth seed. Last year, San Francisco won it as a sixth seed, but they played the three-six game. In my opinion, the three-six game is that that is probably the best because you 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 know you you play Thursday night, you know who you're playing the whole week, you play that game, and then then you then you have till Monday to really wait for the next game, so you get another day to to prepare for whatever game they think is going to win Friday. So I think that's an advantage. You've had the last four West Coast Conference Players of the Year, and they've been four different players. <laughs> what great that, coaching what does that in say? It? Yeah, <laughs> amazing <laughs> coaching, right? No, that's pretty wild. Um, what you know, that, what does that mean? I think what it means is um, I've got great assistant coaches that work really hard individually with my players. I think secondly, we have a system that fits for many different kinds type of players, like Riley won it. Jen won it, Bailey, Lexi, and now my point guard wins the MVP. Um, it's a system that works for everybody, and whatever advantage we have, we take the most adva most advantage of that. And um, I think a lot of it is my system's a hard system to learn. So maybe these players, their first couple of years, they don't do as much, and then all of a sudden it clicks, like the light goes on, and they just start playing better. That I happened with this show. It took a few years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Once, once I started coming on at the raising, then it, it was then better. It Boom. Right. You impact everything for <laughs> yeah. the better. That's Coach. awesome. But Cassie, I mean, what a great year. Wow. I mean, double figures every game except for one this year. And that was, she had nine points, and she could have had double figures if I would have played her at the end of the game. Um, just consistent and just did what she needed to do. And I thought Kalani had a great season, so did McKenzie. Uh, both those three, I thought, were the, really the, the main focus of our team this year. Every day they had to come in and play. And then I'm very proud of Brenna. I mean, to, to make the all-freshman team, nobody even knew about this girl. And she just came in and played really well. You know, her biggest thing was she her, her consistency had to get a little bit better. But she's had some great games for us. And uh, she helped us win some, some big games this year. Cassie Broadhead, the West Coast Conference Player of the Year, took uh, – a gnarly elbow to oh. the face in that Gonzaga game. It loosened one of her teeth. She no, it knocked it out. Knock oh, officially knocked, knocked it out. Knocked it out. She came back into the game after that happened, Coach. I, w I was blown away. I was like, okay, I respect Cassie Brody because she's a good player. After that, I was like, wow. She's uh, she's tough. Man. You know, to be a really good player, you have to have that. You have to have that toughness and aggressiveness. And when she got hit – I told our trainer, I said, get her out here as fast as you can. I'll try, try to stall these refs. And I was hoping she'd go <laughs> in and they just look at it and say, yeah, she's all right. Get out there. And they looked at it and she says, I'm, I'm out. I'm gone. I'm going. I'm going back. So she's been, she didn't practice Monday uh, at all. And Tuesday she, she did very little. And then yesterday was probably the first day she's kind of gone up and down. She's really fighting. Uh, she's got a really bad sore throat right now with the, with the surgery she had and all that, but if I know her, she'll be back. She, you know, she'll she'll be ready to go. If not, you know, it'll be Brenda's opportunity, and you might see me play Kalani at point guard. That's a nice thing that I because have. you have that wow. option. I have that option that she can do it, and and I we worked on it this week in case Cassie cannot come back and play. She'll play some point for me. Is her tooth? I mean, is it normal? Completely it, off. It, it out. It's out. So they replaced it. They hope it grows back. If it doesn't, then they'll have to do some other things. So tough kid. She's already she engaged. She's good. She's engaged. She's all ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> she's the she got her pictures. <laughs> Did she already take her pictures? Yes, her Cassie. Pictures. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. that's the play yes. of the year. Yeah, that is. Yes. The player of the year, but that was the play of the year. She that won't is. miss. People don't realize that kid is tough. And, you know, she'll, she'll be out there. Uh, it's who she is. Yep. And what she does. Wow, I'm really impressed. I know. I know, right?
Juddy, great to have you. Hey, uh, thanks thanks for elevating our show to that uh, you know, that's next there. level. Yeah. That's yeah. right. We, right. Needed to, we needed to go A former there. Celtic. We were looking for somebody. <laughs> Luckily, we found you. You need to show some good pictures of me, will you? That is a you good picture. That's good. Because I got a lot of hair. That's why. <laughs> that good looking a, dude, man. Fantastic <laughs> picture. The best looking Ute west of Eric oh, Weddle. Woo, women woo. women are fainting all over the yeah, country right yeah. now. Make sure my that. team sees that. They've never seen that much hair on me before. <laughs> 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 We're on it. We're on it. Johnny, great to talk hey, to you thanks, as always. Thanks, guys.